Thanks for joining us. In this audit, we looked at whether British Columbia Emergency Health Services, or BCEHS as I'll refer to it, had effectively managed access to ambulance and emergency health services. Overall, we concluded that BCEHS has effectively managed access to ambulance and emergency health services in some areas. However, we found that its performance against key targets for patient care needs improvement and coordination of access to emergency health services with fire departments needs to be strengthened. Emergency health services are first aid or other health care that is provided outside of a health facility without delay to save lives or prevent or alleviate serious harm or pain. These services are often someone's first point of contact with the healthcare system in an emergency situation. BCEHS responds to medical emergencies across the province. Paramedics provide patient care, from basic emergency care to advanced care for a variety of life-threatening conditions, both at the scene of the emergency and while transporting patients to hospitals. BCEHS's goal is to ensure that in every community, patients receive timely and appropriate access to emergency care when required. In 2017-18, BCEHS spent $478 million and employed over 4,000 staff, including paramedics, call takers, and dispatchers, to support the delivery of emergency health services. We found that BCEHS sometimes takes longer than it would like to, to reach patients requiring time critical care. This increases the risk that some patients don't receive the care they need when they need it. Exhibit 4 from page 22 of our report shows that BCEHS is achieving its arrival targets in rural and remote areas, but not in urban areas. We also found that access to emergency health services varies depending on where you live. For example, advanced care paramedics primarily work in urban centers where call volumes are high. There are no advanced care paramedics stationed in rural and remote communities. Evaluating its advanced care coverage across the province would help BCEHS to determine whether it's sufficiently meeting patient needs. Overall, BCEHS understands where it's succeeding and where it needs to improve. It's in the midst of a transformational change of its services to better match its resources to patient needs. This includes an increase in the number of paramedics and ambulances, as well as the introduction of a new dispatch approach with the goal of shortening response times for patients who need care the most. BCEHS is also pursuing alternatives to traditional emergency response for patients who don't require transport to a hospital. This includes options such as providing medical advice over the phone, transporting patients to a health clinic, or having a paramedic provide treatment in the home or community. Fire department first responders play an essential role in supporting BCEHS to provide the quickest possible response to patients requiring time critical care. We found that BCEHS's collaboration with fire departments had not resulted in a coordinated approach to emergency health services across the province. Improved coordination with fire departments would support consistent application of medical standards, information sharing, and improvements to patient care. That said, there are several challenges to improving coordination. First, fire department first responders are employed by local governments, while BCEHS is part of the provincial government. Further, BCEHS and some municipalities have different views on how fire department first responders can best support BCEHS in providing effective access to emergency health services. Support from the provincial government may be needed to improve coordination. In conclusion, we made four recommendations in this report, three to BCEHS and one to the Ministry of Health. All four recommendations have an overall theme of improving patient access to emergency health services, including one recommendation focused on improved coordination with fire department first responders. That's our report summary for today. Thank you for joining us. We'd like to encourage you to read the full report. It and our other reports are available on our website 
at www.bcauditor.com.